also, as you see, uh, subject here, Salam Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Um, we're going to get right into it. The point of this is to show that it's only the ayats of Allah that Allah that determines if you get into Jannah or not. Hadith books, as we know, are a um, shirk in legislation. Um, but I just wanted to point out that in the hereafter, uh, in the day of judgment, that the only consideration that will be given is if you follow the ayats of Allah, meaning that this is the only thing that you're supposed to be following your deen, and this is the only thing that Allah will be looking at as far as to whether or not uh, you did your deen or not. So, let's look at this. So, on the day of judgment, um, somebody popping up, don't know that is, okay. On the day of judgment, when Allah comes to books, it says, uh, you're supposed to follow from the messenger of Allah. Allah will only ask you about if you follow the ayats, verses of Allah as part of your deen, not if you follow hadith books from narrators. So, the ayat goes and states, Surah 6, Ayat 130, O you jinns and humans, did you not receive messengers from among you who narrated to you my verses? Ayats and warned you about the meeting of this day. Okay, so the messengers used to narrate the verse of Allah, which he brought to them, right? The Almighty says about the people of the fire. And Surah 39, Ayat 71, those who disbelieve will be led in to hell in throngs. Okay, in throngs when they get to it and his gates are open, its guards will say, Did you not receive messengers? From among you who recited to you the verses of your Lord. Surah 39, Ayah 71. We notice here, Hadith books, Sunnah, or nothing of the sort is even mentioned. Okay? So, that's on the day of judgment. In the end, when everything will be finalized. So, why are you still uh, wanting to follow Hadith books? Is the question. If that is not the thing that is going to be determining whether you go to... Uh, as, as far as if it's part of your deen, right? Okay, so it says, that is, if the, that is the messengers used to recite the verses of Allah, and whoever turns away therefrom, he will enter the fire. Our Lord, so they will say, and this is a Surah 20, Ayat 125 to 127. Let's look at that. It says, it says that is the messengers used to recite the verses of Allah, and whoever turns away therefrom, he will enter the fire and... Our Lord will resurrect him blind. He will say, my Lord, why did you summon, summon me blind when I used to be a person who sees? Allah will say, because you forgot our ayats, our verses. When they came to you, you are now forgotten. So he says, you forgot our verses when they came to you. You are now forgotten. We, we thus requit those who transgress and refuse to believe in the ayats of their Lord. That's in Surah 20, Ayat 125, 127. Now, in Surah 26, Ayat 30, it says, Then the messenger on the judgment day, or then the messenger will say, Oh my Lord, truly my people have abandoned the Quran. Okay? They migrated. Basically, it says they migrated from the Quran. They performed hijra away from the Quran. Right? So we see this once again. The Quran is what is brung up. Right? The Quran is what is brought up. Not Hadith books. Not Sunnah. On the Day of Judgment. Right? Uh, also, it says, And say those who disbelieve, you are not a messenger. Say, sufficient is Allah as a witness between me and between you and whoever has knowledge of the book. Right? Whoever has knowledge of Al-Kitab. Not who has, whoever has knowledge of the Hadith books or whoever has knowledge of the Sunnah that people have invented or who has knowledge of this or that. Those who have knowledge of the book. Now notice this right here, right? Uh, we notice in Surah 13, Ayat 43, it states very clearly that uh, the disbelievers usually come to the Prophet and say, you are not a messenger, right? And then it's the Ayat tells you to say, sufficient is Allah as a witness, Right? Allah is the witness. Allah is the shaheed, right? Right? It says, between me and you and whoever has knowledge of Al-Kitab, the book. Right? Also, understand this. How do I know that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah? As a side note, I know Muhammad is a messenger of Allah because the book, Al-Kitab, 
states that he is the messenger of Allah. I do not know that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah because of uh, a hadith book or any other books out there, right? The reason why I know Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is because of Al-Kitab, the book, right? So some people, uh, when you say things of this, of this nature, um, they state that's circular reasoning. But we see right here inside the Quran itself, it bears witness itself. Allah bears witness itself. So this thing about uh, circular reasoning that some among Ahlul Sunnah try to argue, oh, you're doing circular reasoning. Um, is not a sufficient point of view when you're dealing with the Quran itself and it bearing witness itself and Allah bearing witness and the person who's going by Al-Kitab, not Al-Kitab, the book and Sunnah or Al-Kitab and other Qutub books, but by the book of Allah, right? So let's go back up here again one more time. So we see right here that on the day of judgment, it speaks to the jinns and humans. That did in their question, did you not receive messengers from among you who narrated my ayats, my verses, and warned you about the meeting this day? We see that very clearly. So I'm not worried about uh, hadith books. I'm not worried about sunnah, uh, people that have invented a thing called sunnah. Okay, I'm not worried about uh, even if, you know, people at one time may have followed uh, a sunnah or something like that, right? What I'm worried about is Yama Kiyama, the day of judgment. Excuse me. When people will be looked upon and they will be questioned. I am worried about the hereafter. And this is what we will be questioned. Did we not follow the eyes of Allah? Right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go thumb through this again. Okay? Go up again because you forgot. So in Surah 20, Ayat 125 to 127, Allah will say, okay, it says, uh, my, uh, somebody will say, he will say, a person will respond and say, my Lord, why did you summon me blind when I used to be a see, seer? Allah will say, because you forgot our ayats, our verses when they came to you. Quit those who transgress and refuse to believe in the eyes of their Lord. Now, 26, again, recap, I at 30, about the day of judgment. It says, oh, my Lord, truly my people have abandoned the Quran. All right. So on, on the day of Yamakim, my people was the prophet, excuse me, the prophet will say that people had abandoned the Quran. Now I'm aware what Ahlul Sunnah say uh, or the Shia say that uh, this is referring to uh, certain people who did not want to accept the message. Right. But the fact of the matter is that. Uh, this will be the concern of the Messenger of Allah, is the Qur'an. That's what I want to point out. The Qur'an. The Messenger of Allah that you say, obey Allah, obey the Messenger, and they try to twist the interpretation for that to mean follow Hadith books, That's that same blood and flesh, flesh Messenger of Allah will say on the Day of Judgment, or will say that the people abandoned the Qur'an. Not that they abandoned the Qur'an and the Sunnah, not that they abandon the Quran and Hadith books, but they abandon the Quran. And this is consistent about the Day of Judgment. All throughout side the book, it says it right here. Okay, you can keep reading different things and constantly Al-Kitab keeps coming up. Right? So, I put down here, I said, uh, we are so required to believe in the ayats of Allah or the verses of Allah that came down to the Prophet and there are no verses uh, ayahs of revelation outside the Quran. So the Quran and nothing but the Quran from the Messenger of Allah you must uh, believe in as far as, you know, follow and take for your deen, right? I then say I, I, st I then say a question. Why would you follow Hadith books of narrators with extra laws people invented in the name of the Prophet when Allah himself will not question you about it as if it's part of your deen on the Day of Judgment? You know. So that's what you have to look forward to being questioned about on the day of judgment besides your deeds. Did you follow these ayats? Okay. Did you follow the ayats of Allah? So why would I be worried about hadith books? Why would I be stressed about hadith books? So it's something for you to reflect on. So I give you time to look at these ayats. Go look them up. Uh, you can go also look at source 2. 
And uh, when they, in Surah 17, I believe it's Surah 17, Surah 71, I believe it's Surah 71, um, where it mentions the jinns heard the recitation of the book. And they said it guides to that which is straight. All right. They heard a book after the book of Moses. Right. They didn't say I heard of a, a book in Sunnah or Hadith books and the Quran. So it's always cons consistent that it's only the book of Allah that is given for people to go by. So this is something short that I want to show you um, um, briefly. Uh, I hope it wasn't too fast or I was rambling, but it's very consistent. Okay, the book of Allah, the book of Allah, the book of Allah, the ayats of Allah, the ayats of Allah. And on the day of judgment, once again, I must say and point out, as you see this list right here, this is all that even to the point the prophet will say. Now, some people might say, oh, oh, uh, you crying alone, so how you know it's on the day of judgment, right? As far as Surah 26, Ayah 30 is concerned, they'll say that, right? Some might say that. But here's the thing that you need to think about. Um... Still, one way or another, it is the prophet who will bear witness about the people abandoning the Quran. Period. Period. Okay? So that will be the concern of the messenger of Allah. So that means your interpretation of uh, what well, some people say, obey Allah, obey the messenger, uh, and for all times, and for all times means that you follow the Quran and Hadith is not true because on the day of judgment, according to the book of Allah, and according to the book of Allah bearing witness that on the that the messenger of Allah will say that the people had been in the Quran. So, inshallah, I hope that enlightens you real quick. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah wa Stay tuned. Uh, inshallah, these uh, will get better. Alhamdulillah, I hope I gave you something to think about. And um, may Allah 